my name is Sally Preston and I founded a business with the brands Babylicious and Kiddylicious. We have a range of frozen products for babies and frozen meals for kids. And we also have a big fruit snacking sector for children above, say, 12 months old. When I first mentioned to my family that I had this idea for frozen baby food, not one of them said, you're crazy, you're mad, and you shouldn't do it. They all asked really good questions like, why? Where is the market opportunity? What makes it unique? Why hasn't somebody else done it before? They're all really good questions. I think they thought, actually, it was a good idea. And because they thought it was a good idea and they could understand it, they said, why not? Have a go. The main reason for asking my family for financial support is I wanted to grow the business fast and I wanted to supply the major retailers because I realised that that's where the volume was. I did go to the banks and initially ask for cash, but it was turned down because the idea was too obvious. So when I looked around, there really was nowhere else to go apart from to ask my family. I was worried about the financial consequences to my family if the business went badly and I was unable to repay their debt. I was utterly relieved when I could pay them the money back because I felt that I had repaid their commitment to me and that was good. When I was talking to my family about borrowing some money and I did view it as borrowing on a short term loan, I wanted them to understand what I was trying to do, I wanted them to understand where I was trying to get to and what my long term objective of the business was. But I also wanted them to understand there were things that were outside my control. So as long as they understood what I was trying to do and my objectives and my strategy, but there was risk associated with it, I think it made everybody feel better. And then ultimately they could weigh up the decision whether they did or did not lend me the money. Getting financial support from my family has not changed my relationship with them but it has made sure that I've been honest with them all the way through this process. I have shared with them what's gone well and what's not gone quite so well. So no surprises and make sure that everybody knows what's going on all the time. I think the pros of getting financial support from family and friends is that they're far more likely to lend it to you quicker and they're far more likely to lend it to you on much less onerous terms than you would find in a bank. But the cons are that you have embarked upon an emotional loan with your family and friends and you really will want to pay them back as soon as possible. I think it's really important if you decide to set up your own business that you don't exclude everything else from the rest of your world. You don't focus wholly on your job. Compromise occasionally, but there is no good reason why you can't make sure you still see your family and your friends and you're still part of their lives. But it won't happen naturally. You have to try and work at it and put dates in the diary. Starting the business changed the dynamics at home because we all settled into a new pattern, a new way of working. I found the balance could be struck if you used your time really wisely. So things that involve communicating with other people, like finding raw materials or packaging or manufacturers, had to be done in daylight hours. Things that could be done later on, like writing invoices or marketing leaflets, I would do those later on in the day when the children were in bed, I'd had my tea, and I think that was the key to juggling the whole thing. My family have a variety of roles in the business, depending on who they are. My partner initially didn't have anything to do with it, but after a few years wanted to get involved and he's now a full-time director in the business, running the operations side of it. And also my wider family will always help out on a voluntarily ad hoc type basis. Maybe there's a baby show, maybe I need some leaflets distributing. They'll always help out occasionally because they're interested and they want to be seen as supportive. If I was going to go through the process of getting support from my family again, having learnt the lessons, I think I would probably go to them earlier in the process. I think I probably went to them when I needed the money rather than wanting the money for the future. And that changes the dynamics of the conversation because there's an element of urgency in it. My three top tips would be to share your idea with your family and share with them the pros and share with them the cons. They've got to buy into it. And if they don't buy into your idea, it would be very difficult for you to actually then ask for financial support. I think the second thing to do is, having shared with them your idea and your vision, listen to what they have to say. They may have some really good ideas, things that you haven't thought of before, avenues you've not investigated before. And thirdly, when you do consider asking your family or friends for some money, make sure that the amount of money that you're borrowing is reasonable for both them and for you. So make sure that they can afford to lend you that money, but also make sure you can afford to pay it back in a timely manner.